Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you five of my favorite ways to customize a product page in your Squarespace website. We've got a lot of codes to cover today, and as always, I've listed them in the description below. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace looking at a standard product, and I just want to share with you really quickly, if we hop into Edit Design under Edit Section, you can see I'm using the simple feature right here. That's just an important thing to know if your product page doesn't quite look like mine. Make sure you've selected the simple layout so you can modify it to match this tutorial. All right, let's go ahead and select Exit, and I'm going to navigate to my Pages menu. Then I'll select Website Tools and then Custom CSS. This is where we're going to add the code that you'll find in the description below. Now, one of the very first things that I like to do is to change the padding on this quantity box right here. There's just way too much space between the number and the edge of the box, and I think it looks weird. So I like to add this code right here that reduces the padding and increases the font size for the quantity option. So you can change this value to anything you want it to be. If you set it to zero, that line is gonna be super close to your number. So I recommend something bigger than zero. I think 10 looks great for the style of the website that I have right here. Now, after that, I changed the font size to 20 PX. If I remove that line, you'll see the number's a little bit smaller. I thought 20 looked a lot better for the layout of my product page, so that's why I added that style. Now that we fixed the quantity option, let's talk about the labels for it, both quantity and color, and these breadcrumbs. I want those to look like their own unique style of heading, so we're gonna customize them with code. I'm gonna enter a new line here, and again, you'll find this code in the description below, but instantly you can see that all of them have changed and they've now updated to match, so we have the variant option title, the quantity label, and the product breadcrumbs. All of them have been transformed to be uppercase. They all have a little bit of letter spacing, and I changed the font weight, so they're not thin and they're not bold. They're all the normal font weight. Now that's going to be unique for the font style that you've selected for your Squarespace website, but I like the way that this looks for mine. If you want it to be bold, change the word normal to be bold. If you want it to be super thin, maybe your font weight goes all the way down to 100. Whatever you'd like to customize for my own unique style, normal was perfect, so that's the code that I've added there. This next code is one of my favorites. I'll add a new line here, and we're going to change this breadcrumb right here, this little icon between the store link and the product page. I'm going to paste my custom code here so you can see it changed to a forward slash. I love adding a unique character there. Now, you can do so much more than just a forward slash. You can use any Unicode character you want. I have a list of Unicode characters on my website, inside the square.co forward slash Unicode. Here you can see a ton of different characters that you can use. Maybe you prefer a dash or an asterisk or one of these arrows. How about this arrow right here? I'm going to copy that, and here I'll place it between the quotation marks, and we now have an arrow from the store link to the product link inside our product breadcrumb navigation. All right, I've got two more codes to share with you. This next one is very helpful if you have multiple product images. You'll notice on the mobile version of our website, we have this little indicator telling me which image I'm looking at, one out of three, two out of three, or three out of three. But that's nowhere to be found on the desktop view unless we add this custom code right here. This will show you which image you're looking at, and I think it's cool to feature that indicator here inside Squarespace. Now we can do a little bit more to make it unique. Let's go ahead and give it a background color of a solid white. And let's go ahead and add a little bit of padding to it. How about 5px? There we go. Now that counter looks a little bit more unique than it did before. And it really stands out on top of the image to let me know which image I'm looking at. Now, because we've added this counter, I don't think these thumbnails are necessary anymore. So this last line of code that I'm going to add is going to remove those thumbnails from the side. So we just have the image right here with the counter. I'll go ahead and select save. And I realized I said five tricks for you. I actually have one more code I want to share in this tutorial. And this code is going to move these arrows away from the sides of the image. Pasting this code in a new line, what we've done is we told the computer browser that when we have those carousel controls, we want to move them to the bottom of the image. We want to give them a little bit of a margin on the top, and we want to make them a little bit smaller. So they're still very functional, and we can click through to see the different images, but they're not nearly as large or distracting as they were before. Just an optional code that I wanted to throw in there for you. Whatever you've customized about your product page with your custom CSS, just select save when you're done, and you'll be good to go. 
Underneath this video, you'll find all six of those creative codes that you can use to modify the product page on your Squarespace website. If there's anything you'd like me to add to this list, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for creative ideas. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a like and check out some of the related content that I have linked below because I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. When Squarespace design options are starting to limit your creative ideas, there's a pro secret that you should know. Creating your own code for Squarespace is not that complicated. I taught myself how to do it, and now I've taught thousands of Squarespacers around the world how to do it too. If you want to learn basic CSS for Squarespace in less than 20 minutes, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn.